beautiful people. Look who's batch filming this girl right here because you know what? I am sick of filming on a Wednesday night, madly editing on a Thursday to have to post on a Friday because my life has been so fucking hectic lately. So I'm going to batch film some stuff to hopefully get me through this Christmas period so that I can like start the new year like afresh. So that's what's happening today. We're going to be doing an unboxing. We are going to be unboxing the November Fable Crate box. So let's dive on into this amazing box. If you aren't familiar with the Fable Crate box is, Fable Crate is an Australian book box company that has a custom book with awesome goodies that are always based on YA fandoms. And they have two options. You can have the fully fabled or the mini fabled option, uh, depending on if you want the book, the pin, and all the extras, or just the book and the monthly pin. I get the fully fabled box because I just have so much fun and love every little thing that they send out. So let's jump on into the November box and see what awesome goodies they sent us. Okay, so the theme for November was Wickedly Ever After. And the thing I'm probably most excited for in this box is either going to be the Invisible Life of Addie LaRue item or the custom t-shirt that was being sent out from Caffeine and Curses, which is another amazing Australian business that, um, yeah, I love. So let's jump in and see what awesome items we have in store for us this month. Oh my God, I'm so fucking excited. This box arrived today and I'm batch filming and it was just perfect opportunity because now I don't have to wait to see what's in here. Now, first up is that custom shirt that I was talking about from Caffeine and Curses. I got a medium because I would rather it be a little bit baggier than, yeah. So anyways, we have a shirt that says in Libris Libertus <laughs> uh, in white. Obviously, it's going to be quite large on me, but that is fine. Um, I love the fact that it is not see-through in any way, which is quite good because obviously with white shirts, sometimes you got to worry about it being see-through, but it is not. Obviously, it's going to be huge. It kind of feels like the material is, how would you say it? Um, if you've ever worn a golf shirt, it feels like golf shirt material, which I think is going to be really breathable and sit quite nicely. Hopefully, I'll be able to like tuck it into my jeans. Um, yeah, I don't wear a lot of white, so it does make me nervous that it is white, but I do love the pattern on the front. As always, we have our squishies. I don't know what else to call them. I always just pull them out and throw them all over the floor and then regret it later. We have our custom pin, which is in here every single month. It is from the Read the Right Act. Uh, I posted on my Instagram today, actually, uh, all of my pin collection, including every single one that I've got from Fable Crate and from Read the Right Act. Um, and this month we have I Am the Thing in the Dark. And as you can see there, oh, she just never failed to do an amazing, amazing pin. And that is from House of Hollow. We have a ring in here. Uh, it is a snake, which makes me think it's from like Kingdom of the Wicked or something, but we had that in the last box. Oh, it's Ninth House. Okay, that makes sense. So I don't know if this is going to fit my chubby fingers, but we shall see. Ooh, okay. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that. Ignore my like dodgy nails. I need to redo them but that's pretty cool. I don't mind that. I will always be worried though that I'm going to like knock the snake and bend it, but pretty cool. And I would probably wear it for like a costume party or for like an event where I need like something that that would go with. So yeah, don't mind it. I will definitely add it to my jewelry box. It will not go to waste. We have a tin. It says Lucy Herondale phone pop. Oh, what? Oh my God. Okay, that's cool. It's a phone pop. My ring light is going to make that impossible to see. I don't know if you can see that, but it is gorgeous. It's got a pearl on it and a gold um, like B, I guess you could say. Uh, and it's a ring pop that you stick on the back of your phone. I like it. 
I like it a lot because I just got a new phone and it doesn't have a ring pop on it and I keep almost dropping it on my head because I got used to having a ring pop on my old phone. <laughs> okay, we have some stickers in here, which I'm going to guess are from Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. So we have Spiral, Snake, and Sun. I'm thinking that's the only thing they can be from is Addie LaRue. Let me check. Yes, Invisible Life of Addie LaRue Constellation stickers. I don't know what this is, but it looks uh, interesting. It's almost like a sweatband. It says, once upon a time. Oh, is this one of those like, um, what do they call them? <laughs> I'm totally having a mental blank right now. It's not like a sweatband, but like, you know, when you come out of the shower or like when you want to do a face mask or do your makeup and like keep your hair out of the way. One of those things. <laughs> Let me look in the cheat sheet and I'll figure it out. Um, oh, <laughs> I was overthinking it, guys. Maybe there can still be a little bit of happy in your wickedly ever after with this luxuriously happy ever after custom face washer headband. Um... So I was half right. I'm just going to keep wearing this. It is stinking hot right now. And my ring light is just making me super hot. But you know what? I'm just going to keep it on because more little squeaky bits. All right. We have a bookish list from knowledge comes vengeance. The question isn't whether magic is real. It's whether it can, I can touch it without being consumed by it. For coffee stained girls in libraries, I can barely stand to exist in this place anymore. Uh, so it is a like notepad. Take it out of the plastic so people can actually see it. <whistles> Much better. Uh, but I have absolutely no idea what fandom that is from. This is my problem. I I have all intention of reading every YA book there is, and then um, a half of them I haven't read. Record all of your most wicked thoughts on this custom notepad designed by Fable Jane with one of our favorite quotes from A Lesson in Vengeance, which I haven't read yet, but I did receive it in my Once Upon a Book Club box, box, which I'm going to be doing a vlog for over the December break because Anthony and I are going away for my birthday for a entire long weekend. So my plan is to read that vlogging my experience and unwrapping the presents as I go along. So keep an eye out for that. It'll probably take me a while to edit because after that weekend away, we're heading home to visit my family, but it will be coming to you eventually. We have a letter from the author of our book, which is our last item in here. As always, it's fluff and stunning. It is Within These Wicked Walls by Lauren Blackwood. <sighs> These edges, like, it's pink, but it's glittery and it looks like bricks. Inside, you have your signed book plate, which is always a good thing. Uh, what the heart to high, what the heart to high is? Dear God, Crystal. What the heart desires, the house destroys, is the quote on the front. And then on the back, it has a little bit about Lachlan Blackwood. She's a Jamaican-American New York living in Virginia who writes romance-heavy fantasy for most ages. Ooh, romance-heavy. I'm keen. Let's learn a little bit about this book, shall we? All right. Andromeda is a deterrer, an exorcist hired to cleanse households of the evil eye. She would be hired, that is, if her mentor hadn't thrown her out before she earned her license. Now her only hope of steady work is to find a patron, a rich, well-connected individual who will vouch for her abilities. When a handsome young heir named Magnus Rochester, why is Magnus always the name of like the rich, like good looking guy, reaches out to hire her, she takes the job without question. Never mind that he's rude and demanding and eccentric that the contract comes with a number of outlandish rules and that almost a dozen Debtera have quit before her, 
If Andromeda wants to earn a living, she has no choice. But she quickly realizes that there is job like no other with horrifying manifestations at every term and that Magnus is hiding far more than she's ever been trained for. Death is most likely the outcome if she stays, the reason every death terror before her quit. But leaving Magnus to live out his curse alone isn't an option because heaven help her, she's fallen for him. I'm getting like Beauty and the Beast retelling with like, I don't even know, like Shadowhunter vibes. It's weird. Anyways, let's have a look at the beautiful artwork inside. Oh God, don't drop it and destroy it. Custom book with stunning. Oh my God, it just, every time, I just love it. And then inside we have, or oh, inside we have, boom, the alternate dust jacket, which said there was nothing to fear here, only memories, those could only hurt you if you let them. The artwork that goes into the covers that she does for these is just stunning. So there we have it. That is the book for the November Fable Crate box. I'll add it to my collection of stunning books that have been received in the Fable Crate boxes. And it's perfect timing that we're done because Anthony is calling me, probably at the shops, getting me stuff for dinner. So thank you so much for watching, guys. If you've made it this far, drop a skull emoji in the comments down below to let me know that you're still around. Subscribe if you haven't already because I'd love to have you around. Until next time, this thing is hurting my head. Happy reading. <laughs> Bye.